Hello everybody and welcome back to the second shelf and to another tag video. Yeah, me, as I always say when I do a tag. Um, I was asked um, a couple of weeks ago by one of my uh, subscribers, regular commentators, whether I, you know, got, got used to tags or want to abandon them because I always complain that I have such a bad luck. Uh, I, I really love doing tags. Uh, it's more that I feel so guilty that um, I don't do them enough. I upload two videos a week. Uh, not everybody uh, can do, you know, 10 videos a day like Steve Donahue. And I have some regular features. So a lot of times I only have one or two open spaces, so to speak, in a month to do a tag. And that's why, you know, the the backlog accumulates, but I, I love doing them just to make <laughs> to make that clear. And today I'm doing uh, the book snob book tag. The tag was originally created by Tia and all the books. Uh, I'll leave a link to that uh, original video down below, of course. And I was tagged by Steve Donahue because he always tags me when he does a tag because <laughs> he loves the fact that I can't keep up. <laughs> But anyway, thank you, Steve, for tagging me. Um, question number one, adaptation snob. Do you always read the book before you watch the movie? No, I don't. Um, um, a lot of times, even when I watch a movie, I, I'm not even aware of the fact that it's based on a book or, or loosely based or that it's in a film adaptation. Um, I try to what I try to do is that uh, if I really love a book I don't watch the movie right after I read it um, I think um, that you have to be aware of the fact that book and film are really two very different um, things so often when when you love a book uh, and then you watch the film you are disappointed because it isn't it, you have a certain image already in your mind how the people look uh, certain scenes that you think are very important are then left out or altered um, and when there's more time between you know book and movie it's easier for me to just appreciate the movie uh, as a different thing so I have no snobbery that the book is always better. Sometimes it is, in my view, because I love the book and I have, like I said, a certain image in my mind. And obviously the filmmaker has a different image and I don't agree with that. But I have no, you know, the snobbery that you have to read the book before you watch the movie at all. Number two, question number two, format snob. I'm looking at my screen, so I can't look at you. I'm sorry. If you had to choose one format for the rest of your life, electronic, uh, uh, physical book, audio, which would it be? Um, this was audio. It wouldn't be. Uh, if you're following my, my channel, uh, you know that I struggle with audio, not because I think it's the quote unquote wrong way of reading a book. Um, I use audio almost exclusively for non-fiction. I just can't listen to somebody reading me a fiction book. It's I, I talked about that uh, in various uh, um, videos that I, I don't like the pace. Um, I have a different pace of reading uh, um, faster than the, the talking. I can't listen to uh, you know, on on uh, if I do 1.5 speed, then it's getting this Mickey Mouse voice. I can't do it. And I have, I like to, uh, when I read a book, to go back and forth. When I when I read something, I think, oh, so it audio and fiction for me, it just doesn't gel. So that's that's off. Um, and between electronic books and physical books, I think if I had to choose, even though I read a lot of ebooks and I love my Kindle. Uh, I would choose physical books because I also like looking at them. I like holding a book. I, I like um, when the cover is done well. I like when the uh, the inside is done well, the font, stuff like that. So if I really were forced to choose, I would probably choose physical books. Um, uh, question number three, ship snob. Would you date or marry a non-reader? Yeah, well, it's easy for me to say no. <laughs> But I did. I mean, I dated uh, people who didn't read. And um, I was married once in my life, and that was a reader, but we still divorced. 
don't worry, it was a very amicable divorce and we are best friends still and it happened a long time ago, so there's no worry there. Um, what I think um, I need in my life are people who read, people with whom I can talk about books. Um, I wouldn't, you know, not fall in love with anybody because he, I'm a straight woman, so it's a he, um, uh, if, if he d didn't read. Um, but if I didn't have any people in my life with whom I could talk about books, so thanks to the BookTube community, I have plenty of people in my life, uh, that would be a problem. But for my love life, that wouldn't be an issue. Uh, number four, genre snob. You have to ditch one genre. Uh, what would, would it be? Uh, I think <laughs> the easy answer is the genres I would ditch. Uh, a genre that I don't read um, or don't read often, uh, YA for instance, uh, or um, romance because I hardly read romance. Um, but if you'd force me to ditch a genre that I actually read, um, I think it would be mystery novels. Uh, I love mysteries, you know that. Um, but if I had to pick one of the genres that I really love, literary fiction, historical fiction, uh, non-fiction, uh, mystery, sci-fi, uh, from those five, if I really had to ditch one, then it would be, would probably be mysteries in the hope that they are, you know, mysteries, uh, also available in literary fiction. So it's a bit of a, a cop-out, I guess, for this question. Um, number five. Uh, uber genre snob. You only read one genre for the rest of the, your life. What would it be? Literary fiction. Because thankfully that genre is so broad um, and so not defined that a lot of books that I would love to read uh, having a sci-fi element or something I could still incorporate. I would be most unhappy that uh, uh, picking literary fiction would mean that I can't read non-fiction anymore because I love non-fiction as well. Um, community snob. Uh, let me see. Which genre do, do you think receives the most uh, the most snobbery? Can't read the question. Anyway, <laughs> from the community. Um, and I think without any doubt that's romance. Um, romance is regarded as... Um, the, the most unserious, I think, of genres, the most unworthy in a way. Um, and even though I, I don't read romance that often anymore, I used to read a lot of Regency romance. I love those books. And if they are well done, uh, like with every any genre, it's, it's a joy to read them. But I think um, if you look at that, uh, which genre gets the most, you know, negative uh, attitude, it's probably romance. Um, and as a, uh, as a, a second, um, I can't pick a second, but I do anyway, because it's my tag, so I do what I want. I think it's what, what is called chiclet. Um, so, you know, the, the, the fluffy side of a women's fiction. So those two, I think, get uh, the most, uh, snobbery. Um... Question number seven, last question. Have you ever been snubbed for something you've been reading? No, um, I, I, don't, I don't think so. Um, I, I mean, maybe people disagree with me um, on, on certain books. It happens all the time. If you have watched my video from last Sunday about the BookTube price, you will know uh, because I had a completely different ranking or, or almost completely different ranking from a lot of the judges. Um, uh, so I have uh, sometimes fierce disagreement with people about books, uh, but snubbed because I read mysteries or because I read, uh, I love sci-fi. No, it's, it's more uh, on an individual book that people would, would disagree with me. Um, but I wouldn't call that, you know, uh, snubbed because you you love a certain book but again maybe that would happen if I read more romance I don't know but anyway this was quite a short and sweet tag um, I love doing it and I 
again, I love doing tags. So if you are a BookTube creator, don't hesitate to tag me if you're willing to wait a while uh, until I, I get to your tag. But I will eventually because I do them all one by one. Anyway, this was it for today's video, the Book Snob Book Tag. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. Talk to me down in the comments, as always, about book snobbery or any other bookish subject, and I'll see you all soon in the next one. Bye-bye.